Dear teachers, students, and friends, ladies and gentlemen, 你们好 and Namaste. As you may know, Chinese is one of the six official languages of the United Nations, and since 2010, the United Nations has designated Chinese Language Day on 谷雨 and 谷雨 literally meaning green rain. It is the sixth solar term of the 24 solar terms in the Chinese lunar calendar to commemorate the contribution of Cang Jie, the ancestor of the Chinese characters. So every year around the time of Gu Yu, and this year it is falling on April the 20th, the United Nations and many parts of the world. Hold the Chinese Language Day, and in India, with local universities, we organize various Chinese Language Day activities to showcase Chinese language skills and experience the charm of the Chinese culture. So here, I would like to congratulate you on the success of the event, and express my cordial greetings and heartfelt thanks. To all the teachers engaged in Chinese teaching, school leaders organizing the event, and students actively participating in this event. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese language is an ancient and beautiful language. It is spoken by the largest number of people in the world. It embodies the wisdom tradition. And the culture of China. It is recorded that more than 5,000 years ago, Cang Jie created the most primitive hieroglyphic characters in China. In history, Chinese characters have taken various forms, such as oracle-born script, bronze script, seal script. Clerical script, regular script, traditional Chinese, and simplified Chinese. The beauty of Chinese language lies in its form, structure, and rhythm. Every stroke, every tone, every word, and every sentence has its own story. If appreciated and experienced with heart. You can enjoy the profound cultural background of Chinese. The combination of Chinese characters themselves is visualized and vivid. For example, one wood is mu, two wood is ling, and three wood is sen, which means forest. And、uh, one person is ren. Uh, two are cong and three are zhong. It means a large crowd of people. So they all indicate the relationship between single and multiple, which can be seen at a glance. Another example: the left side of the word xin is ren, which means a person, and the right side is yan. Which means words. So the meaning of xin is that one should keep its word. So hence the Chinese people say, 人无信不立，国无信则衰 And that is to say, a person without integrity cannot stand in the society, and a country without integrity will decline. This reflects the Chinese way of life and cultural philosophy. The combinations between Chinese characters are even more colorful. A few days ago, from the core module Tianhe of the space station Tiangong, three Chinese astronauts returned to Earth successfully aboard the Shenzhou manned spacecraft. Which created a new record for China's space program. Naming these spacecrafts in Chinese 
is full of traditional Chinese culture and wisdom. Except Tianhe, Tiangong, Shenzhou, there are Quechiao, Chang'e, and uh, Zhurong, etc. And among them, the core module of China's space station is named Tianhe, which means peace, harmony, and the unity of heaven and humanity. It is not only a very beautiful Chinese name, but also fully expresses Chinese people's dream to explore the universe and our pursuit to utilize the space peacefully. These implications cannot be understood by only reading Pinyin. And only by learning Chinese can you understand the real meaning and its mystery. And the Chinese poetry is even more charming and long-lasting. And there is one sentence in a poem written by Mr. Wang Wei, a poet in the Tang Dynasty 1,300 years ago. It is called Da Mo Gu Yan Zhi Chang He Luo Ri Yuan. And it means, in boundless desert rises straight a lonely smoke, and over endless river sinks a round sun. In just 10 Chinese characters, it presents two magnificent and specular scenes in the Grand Desert. And with its broad rim and bound momentum, this sentence amounts to a historic verse. And there are many more examples like this in Chinese. So all in a nutshell, we found that the Chinese language can transform and carry so much meaning with just 2,000 commonly used characters. And through Chinese, you will feel China, understand China better, and even fall in love with China. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, President Xi Jinping pointed out, promoting exchanges, integration, and mutual learning among human civilizations is the only way to make the world a more beautiful place and to create a better life for people of all countries. And in my opinion, we are undergoing profound changes unseen in a century and we need more dialogues, communication, exchanges, and understanding. And learning a language well is building a bridge for us to communicate and understand from heart to heart. After continuous struggle over the past more than 70 years, China has entered a new era. We are now standing at a new historical starting point and will embrace the world with a more open attitude and make our contribution with more dynamic achievements of civilization. China's development will provide unlimited opportunities for the world. And learning Chinese well means embracing and sharing the future. As more and more foreign friends learn Chinese language and experience Chinese culture, the world will have a better understanding of the profound, hardworking and friendly Chinese people and an innovative, open, inclusive China. With learning Chinese and building a better future together at the theme of the Chinese Language Day this year, we intend to provide a unique platform for people to experience China, which will also promote the exchange of languages and cultures among peoples around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, 
dear friends, both China and India are ancient civilizations in Asia. We are not only neighbors that cannot be moved away, but also two major emerging economies with broad space of development. There is huge potential for mutual beneficial cooperation between our two sides, which serves the fundamental interests of our two peoples. So I would like to take this opportunity to call on our Indian friends to learn, love. And make good use of the Chinese language, so as to promote exchanges among civilizations, welcome a better future, and build a community with a shared future for mankind together. 最后，祝愿二零二二年中文日活动取得圆满成功。祝愿大家学习、工作、生活愉快。谢谢大家。